Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and this week's classic is a Morris Minor. It's a rather late one from 1967. It's in Trafalgar Blue. It's a two-door car. It's had a, uh, a restoration back in 2015. Uh, it comes with all the photographs which show the extensive work that was done. Um, and there's uh, pictures of the engine out being rebuilt and replaced. It's a beautiful clean engine and engine bay. Um, the undercarriage is rock solid. Uh, lots of new components and you don't have to worry about any uh, corrosion issues uh, when you see the underside of this vehicle. In fact, um, as a part of this video, I will have a look crouch down underneath for you and certainly show you the pictures uh, that I've got. Now Trafalgar Blue is a lovely colour for them. Um, it looks very nice with the white painted wheels and the proper Morris minor wheel trims and that white grille. It has an AA badge in the front. Now the car speedo displays 59,000 miles. Now we can never be entirely sure um, if 59,000 miles is correct with cars that are, in this case, 55 years old. Uh, the car does present very nicely and it does drive very well. Um, I'm going to get up close and show you the paintwork. Um, the paintwork and the condition of the bodywork is generally very good condition. Um, as you could imagine, the car is 55 years old. There are a few marks here and there that I could point out to you. Uh, the interior is particularly nice. Uh, let's have a little look inside and I can tell you a little bit about the the Morris Minor model. Um, this is a very nice uh, Trafalgar blue and then some contrasting blue um, seating. Um, and being the two-door model, you have to sort of lift the seat up like this to get into the back. Carpets are in good order, as is the headlining, as is the dashboard. Um, and we do have a bit of a nick in the seat here and we do have a bit of a nick in the seat there. However, again, I am asking you to be a little lenient on a car that's 55 years old. Um, there's not many uh, instruments to get used to on these cars because they are pretty basic. Um, everything works perfectly well. I've been driving it this morning. It drives especially well, actually. Um, I'm going to show you underneath the bonnet because that's a very nice place to, to have a look. Now, with Morris Miners, you've got to get your hand down underneath and there's a little sort of a metal tag that you have to pull. And that noise was the bonnet popping open. Now, let's uh, do my one-hand bonnet opening trick. There we are. And hopefully you can see that uh, it is especially nice and clean, the engine which was say subject to refurbishment back in 2015. That's very clean. It's wearing its original um, um, air filter. You can see there that that engine is all painted the correct color for the A-series engine, which was the final phase of the engines that were fitted to here, the most powerful of them. I think there's 64 brake horsepower. Um, they're about late 30s, early 40s MPG, and the top speed is about 77 miles per hour on the 1098 A series. So, very capable of keeping up with the modern traffic, uh, and this one's quite a sprightly performer. And as I'm showing you around, I can see what looks to be in perhaps a new uh, wiring loom has been fitted. I can see this new solenoids, which is new. Um, Everything's painted up and looks rather lovely. Um, and all the inner wings are very solid, as is the bulk head. And that's a nice heavy duty Xside battery. That explains why it turns over as nicely as it does. Okay, well that's the engine bay bit done. I usually show that bit last, but today we're mixing it up a bit. Let's just shut this bonnet down and show you the rest of the car. That's the bonnet down. Um, okay. Um, before I get up and show you all around the car, let's tell you a few little facts and figures about the Morris Minor. Um, 
made a couple of notes from having looked through the massive service file and the history folder that comes with the car. Um, now, regarding Morris Miners, they actually built about 1.6 million of these, in fact, in, uh, over that amount. And they're one of the longest running cars that were produced. Um, they started in 1948 with a very early MM model that they had low lights right down at the bottom. Um, and of course there's great stories about the production of the Morris Minor where the designer wanted to make sure that it looked right. So famously those very early cars were cut down the middle and extended and they, they welded a bit more into through the floor pans and extended the bumpers and they put a strip through the bonnet and lo and behold the car got wider but this particular designer car I think is as British as it gets it was the car that took over from the rather dated looking Morris 8 uh, and Morris miners have been well loved ever since they did create they did carry on building these through to the early 70s and I think it was about 71 when they uh, made the last of the Morris miners possibly 72 but 71 on the J Red seems to ring a bell um, now they made a couple of series the early series that I just mentioned the MM which had the low lights uh, series 2 that run through to 56 and then this one which is known as the 1000 series uh, run from 56 to 71 in fact the very last of them because they did make quite a few uh, additions to the most modern of them the biggest addition obviously was jumping up to a 1098 cc engine and the performance figures were were much better uh, the introduction of motorways for example meant they could do with being a little faster they did also uh, have a stronger gearbox and i think they're rear, rear, considered to be probably the most drivable and usable out of all the morris miners if you were considered using this as your daily driver um, now the um brief was to uh, build a car that had good handling and good interior space and they certainly did manage it with this car. They are a hoop to drive. They do have independent suspension. They have rack and pinion steering. So back in the day that would have felt very modern and even to this day now that does make them very drivable. They are great fun cars to drive. So um, the restoration pictures do tell a story and uh, it's we do get asked various questions. Have you got photos of this? Have you got photos of the other? Well, usually we don't always get as many as this, but if I were to just show you, um, here she is in the old days. Uh, and you can see uh, the extent of the work that's done. I'm hoping this is coming across okay. Um, that's the wings off, that's the floor out. And, rather extensive repair work um, so photo by photo it sort of shows you just how much was done and there's pictures of the the axle out and that's all nicely painted to this day and that's the I did see a picture of the engine out somewhere as well that's the, there we are that's a picture of the engine here etc in fact there's additional photos here so there's probably a good 50 photos of various stages of the car's restoration um, now we've had a look on the inside let's have a look at the outside together i like to walk around the car so it's like a virtual viewing really as if you were here to start at the back um, now the bumpers are in good order uh, the chrome obviously after those years isn't as new but it's perfectly serviceable as is the boot lid is in good order uh, we've got some sort of pit into the chrome as you can imagine there's a good amount of paint on this rear wing that looks perfectly okay and does the rear panel and roof um, I mean paint work wise to be perfectly honest with you if you wanted it to be a Hong Kong show winner you could actually look at having the whole car painted to make it perfect but to be perfectly honest with you as I'm walking around the car here uh, the car does show its age but it's by no means uh, unsightly um, I'm confident that pretty much every panel has probably had some paint work and it's been patched up over the years but I'm happy to say it's all the same colour 
and whereas it's not looking uh, new car perfect it certainly does look very presentable it's rather nice it's got a matching set of modern tires and you've got some chrome uh, trim at the bottom of this door and that's that rear panel moving through to the rear wing the great news about these morris miners is that there's virtually every part available for them from various specialists um, morris miner center which is very famous for uh, parts um, i mean there is a, a run in the paintwork there is the odd bit of uh, um, orange peel effect where panels have been painted over the years but i think pretty much in line with a good honest keeping on the road maintenance of this car it's obviously kept in good fettle but what i'm not seeing is, is, is rust and holes and you know awful corrosion but very important with these cars is the condition of the undercarriage because as I mentioned earlier, they are prone to uh, a bit of uh, a bit of rust, and this is this is an area where it's 